here goes nothing. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I have lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss. A little back history about me if you're new to my channel or maybe you just didn't know, but I have been on social media, on the YouTube platform, Instagram. I have a Facebook group for about four years now. This is my full-time job. I am a full-time content creator and I'm a full-time weight loss and nutrition coach. With the social media territory comes a lot of opinions, comments, negativity, but there also comes a lot of greatness from social media. A lot of you are shining stars in my life. A lot of my followers, my subscribers, I've become friends with. You bring so much joy to my life. And sometimes that can be overshadowed by some of the negative negativity that just comes as part of being on social media. So today I felt compelled to sit down and maybe address some of the comments that I've received lately. I get comments on YouTube, I get comments on Instagram. Sporadically I'll get them in my Facebook group, not as much because that's just a really supportive, amazing community. But I do get a lot of negativity on my Instagram and on YouTube. And what I mean by negativity is sometimes just point blank mean comments, sometimes rude comments, sometimes assumptions, and a lot of time just disagreeing with what I'm saying, which is completely fine. We all have a right to our opinion. You have a right to your opinion. I have a right to my opinion. I mean, we know what they say about opinions, right? But there have been a few things recently that I really, really feel like I need to address. Now, if you follow me, you know that I'm all about the positivity. My Facebook group is anti-drama. We don't have drama. We don't feed on drama. Myself and my moderators will delete any negative comments, any drama, or any comments that would stir up or cause drama. But there also gets to a point where I feel like I have a right to maybe in a sense defend myself or at least explain myself and kind of answer some of these comments that I've recently received. So that's what we're doing today. And before I jump into them, I do want to say thank you to everybody who is so incredibly amazing and supportive on these social media platforms. You guys truly are such a special part of my life and you mean the world to me. And thank you. Thank you for bringing such positivity to what can be somewhat a negative space. It really means a lot to me. So today I'm going to address, explain, answer some of the negative comments or things that I've seen recently on my social media platform. So first of all, I want to talk about paid sponsorships, paid videos, paid promotions. I have seen comments like, I don't watch any paid videos. If it pops up with the little notification in the corner that this is a paid promotion, I don't watch it. I also recently got a comment on my YouTube video that said that there were two to three minute commercials in my video and they don't know why I put two to three minute commercials. They shouldn't have to sit through that so that I can make money. I've also seen several comments about paid promotions in general. Not necessarily that they don't watch the video, but why do you have so many paid promotions? So I really wanna talk about this and I feel like I want to explain that a little bit more. So first let's talk about paid video. As a content creator, when a brand reaches out to us and offers to pay us a set amount of money to promote their product, we are required by the FTC to disclose that it is a paid video. There's a little box as content creators that we can check that says paid promotion. And then up in the left hand corner, you guys will see a little black bar that says includes paid promotion. This essentially means that a brand paid us to share their product. I don't know about anybody else, but I only share products that I truly enjoy. I I am reached out to at least 12 to 15 times per day via email by brands wanting me to promote their product. I pick and choose the brands that I want to work with. And then I test the product out before I ever share it with you. There has been so many times that a brand has sent me a product and I've never shared it with you because I didn't like the product. I didn't feel like it was valuable to me or I may have enjoyed it but didn't think it would bring value to you. So there are uh, there are several times that I have foregone a paid video because I didn't like the product. So whenever you do see that paid promotion in the corner, that basically means that we're getting paid for our work. Would you go to work every single day and not be paid? If your boss called you up tonight and said, you're gonna show up to work tomorrow but we're no longer gonna pay you, 
would you actually show up to work tomorrow? You have to remember that this is how we get paid. Putting out a video takes hours. You may see an eight minute video, but it took us several hours to put together. I have to do the research. I have to film the video. I have to edit the video, make the thumbnail, fill out the description box, upload the video, send it to the brand for approval. It is an hour upon hour process. And in my opinion, there's no reason that we shouldn't be paid for the work that we put in. If you get paid to go to the office, we should get paid to film videos. There is nothing wrong with paid sponsorships, paid videos. That is how content creators get paid. This is our job and that's our paycheck. If you choose not to watch paid videos, that's of course entirely up to you, but I just want you to look at it from a different perspective. Thinking about if you would still go to work every day if you didn't get paid. And then as far as promoting product, I think there's a little bit of disconnection between sharing products that we're using and promoting products. So there are products that I use every single day. You don't see every single day of my life. You see one what I eat in a day video every week, one day of food, one day of what I'm using. Uh, there are several products that I use every single day. And when I share those with you in my videos, it's not promoting the product, it's sharing with you what I'm using, what I've been using to be successful on my weight loss journey, what I've been utilizing to get in my protein, what are my favorite products. That's more what it's about. It's not about promoting products. And every time we share something that we enjoy, we're not getting paid for that. That's something we're sharing, at least for me, because it's a favorite. It's a product I use all the time. So I really wanted to clarify this. I want you to just step back and look at it from a little bit different perspective. You think it about it like this is our paycheck. This is how we get paid for the work that we put in. And then as far as commercials on YouTube, the only way for a content creator to get paid on YouTube is by ad placement. Here's a fun fact for you. We don't pick the commercials that get put into our video. So the comments that the comment that I received about the two minute commercial, I didn't choose that. YouTube actually chooses the ads or the commercials that are put into our videos. All we do is monetize the video, which allows us to make money on the video. And another thing, nobody's getting rich off of YouTube. At least I'm not getting rich off of YouTube. The money we make, the AdSense we make, at least for me, is pretty minimal. We don't get paid for subscribers. Subscribers. We don't get paid for views. We get paid for the ads that YouTube chooses to put into our videos. So when you see ads and commercials throughout the video, that's YouTube putting those in. We as content creators have no control over those. Now, if you watch the whole ad through, that helps us. Actually, what helps really the most is to watch the entire video from start to finish. Not only are you watching the ads, which is how we get paid, but you're also helping you to push our video out because you're watching it from start to finish. When you cut out early, it's actually a negative effect on content creators. It shows that you just weren't interested in watching our entire video. So the best way that you can help out your favorite content creator, myself included, is to watch the video in its entirety. And I wanna talk one more little piece about money, at least from my personal perspective. This is my full-time job. I wanna reiterate that. This is my full-time job. This is how I support my family. My husband does not work. He has some medical issues. We have been trying to get him on social security disability now for almost two years. So he has no income. So this is how I support my family. Me spending day after day, hour upon hour upon hour creating content for you is how I make a living. And that's partially why I'm so consistent with my content. It helps you to push my channel, push my videos out. It helps you guys reach your goals and it helps support my family. So let's talk about affiliate links and affiliate codes for a moment. Not everything I share is an affiliate link. There are several brands that I've reached out to directly to get a discount specifically for you. I don't make any money on that. I'm just trying to save you a little bit of money on my favorite products and the affiliate links that I do make an income on. It's enough to buy a cup of coffee. Again, nobody's getting rich on affiliate links, but what we can do as content creators is put it all together. The AdSense from YouTube, the paid promotions, the affiliate links, all of that can add up to an income for us, which I feel is absolutely deserved. There is, again, a lot of time and energy and money that goes into filming videos, creating Instagram reels, and just heads up on Instagram reels. We don't get paid on Instagram reels anymore. They took that feature away. So by putting all of those pieces together, that's how an income is created. And like I said in the beginning, there's no reason that we don't deserve to make an income just like you deserve to make an income. These are the types of comments that I see the most that kind of get under my skin a little bit because I feel like there's a lack of understanding from 
the people watching the videos versus those that are creating the videos. And that's partially why I wanted to talk today to just explain a little bit more and maybe help you understand why there's paid promotions and paid sponsorships and affiliate links. And that way maybe you can now look at it a little bit different as a way to support your favorite content creator rather than it being a negative thing about content creation. Another thing I see a lot across social media, more on Instagram than on YouTube, is people basically just disagreeing with my approach to weight loss and weight maintenance. And like I said, that's completely fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but it's just that an opinion. It doesn't mean that I'm wrong and you're right or you're wrong and I'm right. That It's simply just your opinion. I share what worked for me, how I lost 140 pounds, how I've maintained that weight loss, how I built lean muscle, how I've started a fitness journey. I'm just sharing my life and I'm openly putting that out on social media for you. And if you disagree with that, if you want to follow keto or take Ozempic or do a low carb lifestyle, that's entirely up to you. But to comment and say that I'm doing it wrong or that low carb is better, or keto is better. Again, it's simply just your opinion. And sometimes we don't always necessarily need to share our opinion. Just take bits and pieces from what I share that work for you and leave behind the bits and pieces that don't. I also get a lot of comments about my makeup and this is something that I've addressed in the past before. I've actually talked about this in several videos and I feel like it needs to be talked about again today because I still get comments about my makeup. Oh, you'd be prettier if you didn't wear so much makeup. I'm pretty with or without makeup. I don't wear makeup to be pretty. I'm beautiful, a 10 out of 10 without makeup. I wear makeup because I enjoy it. And what I want you to remember about that kind of goes back to what I mentioned at the beginning. If you would come up to me on the street and say, you'd be prettier if you didn't wear so much makeup or you shouldn't wear makeup or your eyeshadow's too colorful. If you would come up to me in real life and say that, I question you a little bit, but if you would, knock yourself out and say it on the internet. But if you wouldn't walk up to me in real life and say that, then keep that opinion to yourself because it's just an opinion. This is my face. I have every right to do whatever I want with my face. And it doesn't mean that you need to do your makeup like this. You don't need to wear the same makeup as I do. You don't need to style your hair the same way. You don't need to wear the same clothes as I do. It is all personal preference. It's a way that we express ourselves. I love makeup. I've always loved makeup. And I will continue to wear whatever makeup I want to wear. Because like I said, this is my face. And it's a choice that I can individually make. Just like it's a choice that you can individually make. And kind of on a side note about makeup. Well, I would never come up to you in real life and I would never post this on the internet, but I would never tell you that you'd be prettier if you wore makeup or you'd be prettier if you wore more makeup. It's disrespectful, it's rude, and it's uncalled for. So I, I urge you to keep your opinions about other people's appearance to yourself. We should never be sharing our opinion on someone else's appearance. We shouldn't be telling someone they're pretty, they're ugly, they're fat, they're skinny. Those are just things that we don't say, whether it's in real life or on the internet. So just a reminder, just for those in the back, this is my face and I will continue to wear whatever makeup I wanna wear. So another thing about YouTube is the thumbs up and the thumbs down. So back in the day, up until about a year ago, when someone would thumbs up or thumbs down your video, you watching the video could see how many thumbs up and how many thumbs down. Well, YouTube took that away. So you guys can't see that anymore, but we as content creators on the back end can see how many thumbs up and how many thumbs down that we receive. It's all engaged. If you thumbs up my video or you thumbs down my video because you disliked it, you dislike me, I got a lot of hate watchers because I typically get the same amount of thumbs down on every videos, which like I said, it's engagement, so it actually helps out my channel and I find it to be pretty funny. But for those that hate watch and thumbs down my videos, thank you. Because that's engagement, it pushes my video out, and really truly it doesn't affect me whatsoever because I know that I put out good content. And my content might not be for everybody and that's okay, but just remember, the thumbs up, the thumbs down, the comments, the responding to the comments, all of that is engagement on our channel, which helps us out. And the last thing I wanna talk with you guys about is commenting in general, especially leaving negative comments, whether it's on YouTube, on Instagram, or in my Facebook group. Those are my social media platforms. That is my channel, my Instagram, my Facebook group, my little baby 
be part of the big wide web that I have a little bit of control over. And when you leave mean, negative, rude comments, I have every right to number one, delete the comment, and number two, block you from those social media platforms. And I don't allow negativity. I try to keep my life positive, my life happy. I feel really blessed to have just a stress-free, amazing life that I'm not going to allow those types of things to invade what little part of the World Wide Web that I have. I'm going to keep my space, my channel, my Facebook group, my Instagram a positive place. And as content creators, we have every right to delete comments and to block people from leaving those mean comments on our social media platforms. I just want to be transparent in that and letting you know that yes, I delete mean comments. I will continue to delete mean comments. I will continue to block you. If I feel like I'm not serving you in a positive way and you're not serving me in a positive way, then I feel like it's best that we just go our separate ways. And if that means that I have to block you or remove you from my Facebook group or hide you from my YouTube channel from being able to leave comments, and really truly, that's what I have a right to do on my social media platform. So I wanted to be clear about that because I have received comments about deleting comments or blocking people. And yes, I will continue to do that. I will continue to keep my space a positive, peaceful place. So I think that's everything that I wanted to talk with you guys about today. And I know this isn't my typical video. I'm usually happy and cheerful and positive. And I still feel like I brought positivity to this video. But like I said, this is something that has been weighing on my heart that I really felt like I wanted to talk about these things and clarify these things so that it maybe puts things into a different perspective for those of you that have left these comments or have these questions. wonder why comments are deleted or why you see the paid promotion in the left hand corner of a video. I just wanted to bring some clarity and clarification. Please remember that when you watch YouTube or you watch Instagram reels or Instagram stories or you are in a Facebook group, it's all free to you. It doesn't cost you a single penny to gain all of the knowledge from a YouTube video or on Instagram or on Facebook. So you really don't have a reason to complain on receiving free content that the content creator is being paid to put out that content. And also remember, you watch commercials when you watch TV. It's basically the exact same situation. It just happens to be a YouTube video versus a TV show. If you have additional questions, please feel free to leave them down below and just make sure they're positive and supportive and helpful versus negative and hurtful. And just remember, take with you one piece of advice from today's video. Whatever you say on the internet, make sure that you would say that in real life. And if you wouldn't, then don't say it on the internet. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that this again helps answer your questions. I didn't want this to be a negative video. I wanted it to be a helpful video. So I hope that that's what it was. And I'll see you guys all in tomorrow. Tomorrow's meal prep. Bye.